I'm Lean, I'm 19, and I live in Belgium. Hi, my name is Anthony, and I'm 17, and I live in California. My name is Valeria, I'm 22 years old, and I'm a Venezuelan who's currently living in Italy. Kat, I'm 14 years old, and I live near Seattle. Hello, my name is Gemma, I'm 15, and I'm from New South Wales, Australia. Hi, my name is Chelsea, and I am 16, and I am from the United States of America. Hi, my name is Tilly, and I am 19 years old, and I live in Australia. My name is Bex, I'm 21, and I'm from England. My name is Bertie, I'm 18, I live in the United States. My name is Jonas, I'm 19, and I live in Belgium. My name is Emma. I'm 16 and I'm from the United States. Hi, my name is Isa and I'm from the Philippines. I'm Sydney, I'm 18 and from the United States. Hi, my name is Rebecca, I'm 20 and I am from LA. Hi, my name is Jana, I'm 21 years old and from Germany. I'm Sky. I'm 18 and I live in the US. For most of us in this video, we spent the majority of our childhoods reading books, but sadly those numbers are dropping every year with only 53% of 9 year olds reading books daily and only 17% of 17 year olds. Studies show that every year less and less parents are reading to their kids. As James Patterson said, there's no such thing as a kid who hates reading. There are kids who love reading and kids who are reading their own books. Why should kids and teens start reading more? Well, here's a few reasons why. And I love reading because real life can be so boring. And when I read, I get to live a more interesting life, at least for a little while. Reading changed my life completely in the positive way, of course. I lived so many lives and I've traveled to a lot of worlds and I learned so much from my books. I've always liked reading since I was a kid. I think it's mainly because my mother was also a reader and she encouraged me to be a reader as well. And personally, as a small child, I really liked these stories and it fascinated me so much. So I guess that's why I kept reading. I love books because it takes me to places I've never been. I meet people I've never met and I only have one life but through books I get to experience and see the world as a different person. Submitting this video because I have always found myself to be passionate about books and as I was growing up these were an important part of my life because when I found life to be hard or stressful I could always fall back on my book and read that as an escape and since then my passion has always grown for them because of that. I love books because as a kid I sort of used reading as an escape method and it helped me get through a lot of really shitty stuff that I went through in my life and so now, like, I don't think I'd be alive if I hadn't had the right books at the right time. And I guess that's really the best way to put it. And to me, books are windows to a happiness that is unreachable by anything else. I really love books because they help free my mind from the physical location and limitation my body poses. And books have always been there for me when other people haven't. And if Leighton and Cornelia Funke have fought my childhood, and later on books like The Perks of Being a Wallflower and It's Kind of a Funny Story have really helped me through dark times in my teenage years. I love books because they pretty much saved my life. They're the best friends I find myself when I read them and I've learned so many things with them. I love reading because I love having a connection with the characters in the books and being able to travel to different places and learn new things from the books. When I was being picked on at primary school, books gave me an escape. Books like Harry Potter and Alex Ryder. And then when I went to secondary school, I met my best friend in the library. I love reading because books are always there for you, whether you have a bad day or a good day. And I love reading books because they let me experience things I can't otherwise, like riding a dragon. And to me, books are a way of living another life through characters that are written by amazing minds, um, along with being able to experience things that you'd never otherwise be able to experience. As you can see, we all love reading. It's helped us and entertained us throughout our lives so far. However, the amount of readers may be dropping every year, and for obvious reasons too, like technology taking over the world, or homework taking over our lives. 
for some people, reading became a chore or something they just didn't find enjoyable anymore. Next time you find yourself with nothing to do, take a trip downtown and support your local library or bookstore. There's always a book out there for you. Books make magic a reality. And that's why I love books.